The 20-year-old was yet to vote in a US presidential election, but the actions of shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks have forever changed the course of this election campaign. He graduated high school in his hometown of Bethel Park just two years ago, where classmates say the bright student was bullied. My only interactions with him were just seeing him in school and he was bullied, sat alone at lunch. The nursing home worker had been registered as a Republican voter since 2021, but donated to a progressive political action committee the day Joe Biden was sworn in as president. We do not know the motive of the shooter yet. We don't know his opinions or affiliations. Is there any Democrat practically in this country that doesn't use Act Blue now? We work with pretty much everybody on the federal level and we work all the way down to local school board races. During raids, the FBI found suspicious devices in the shooter's car and home. The Secret Service fronted the media about security for the upcoming Republican National Convention, but refused to take questions about its worst failure since the 1981 assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan. I'd refer any questions regarding yesterday's incident to our, our D.C. Public Affairs Office. The rooftop was one of a few in the area, and U.S. media is reporting a blame game has erupted between the Secret Service and local police over who should have been patrolling it. I would have expected that local law enforcement at the direction of the Secret Service would have been positioned on those rooftops, but that apparently wasn't done. Security experts have also questioned why authorities failed to move quickly when the crowd spotted the gunman. He's on the roof right there. One of Donald Trump's greatest political advantages is his ability to draw a rapturous crowd in a festival-like atmosphere. His campaign was counting on holding these type of events to energise voters. But this shocking act calls into question the safety of his signature rallies as we enter the last few critical months of this campaign. Thankfully, former Trump is not seriously injured. But in America, we resolve our difference at the battle box. So tonight, I'm asking every American to recommit to make America so, make America, what, think about it. What's made America so special? Carrington Clark, ABC News, Washington.